Hey everyone, Plasmaster here. Welcome to the Nitrum 5. In this series, I will be playing five Nitrum games in each episode. Nitrum is an indie game developer that used to make Flash games for browser. They currently make and publish mobile games, as well as games for Steam, Nintendo Switch, and other platforms. I've been following Nitrum since I was 11, and have met many of my long-term online friends through their games. Nitrum holds a special place for me, and is easily my favorite indie game studio. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get into it. First game for today is Graveyard Shift, which was released in October of 2009. In this rail shooter game, you slay zombies and other monsters in each level. It is October, the, the spooky season, you know, it's, it's, you know, everyone's getting in the mood for Halloween and such, I figured, you know what, this episode will we'll play some of Nitrome's spookier games, you know, their Halloween themed games, and, uh, I'm gonna start things out with uh, Graveyard Shift, as I said before. Um, it's a rail shooter, which is uh, quite rare for Nitrome, all things uh, considered. Um, basically, I just wanna, you know, shoot these, these zombies. Uh, unlike in other games, you'll actually kill them faster if you shoot their, their bodies instead of their heads, because you just blast their heads off. Their bodies still walk around, so you want to aim for the, the torsos there. Um, and then, yeah, you have the, the shield thing. It's a bit buggy, unfortunately. Um, right, it seems to have seems to have gotten the hang of it. Sometimes it doesn't really cooperate. Depends. Oh. I killed that guy, but his thing still showed up. It's fine. I got some more health. It's all good in the neighborhood, Arby's. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, pretty easy first level. It's just, you know, shoot the things, watch the goo fly. Oh gosh. And block the goo that they are shooting. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, shooters. Um, Probably because I'm not very good at them. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, as, as shooters go, like, this is a good one. You know, Nitro Me, you, you did a good job. Um, when I was a kid, this game, like, really freaked me out because the music was all, like, spooky and stuff. Alright, mission two. They didn't actually give us that objective, it's just shoot the things. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Heroically protect the maidens, or lose health. It is up to you, of course. Oh gosh, no, you, you yucky zombies, stay away from my girl. Nice. I did it. I'm a hero, guys. The sword will break. Ah, so it's Fire Emblem rules, eh? Um... Yeah, you just slash the... you actually have to drag the the mouse across the screen. I didn't understand that when I first played this, and I was really confused as to, like, why my sword wasn't working. We will have no goo shooting here. Shoot the cage to release the maidens. Okay, well, um... Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I just made that hitbox huge. Like, my, my, I still had my sword. I couldn't just shoot, like, a small area. Oh gosh. Excuse me. What does the poison even do? Does it, like, prevent me from firing? Because it's not like it can do, like, damage over time, right? I mean, it could be that, right? It could be that. Oh gosh. Oh no. I've been poisoned. Oh, the poison makes your shield go all crazy. That is really bad. Where's my thing? Oh gosh, I- Wow. I did really badly. What the heck? Collect grenades for maximum destruction. Oh gosh. Okay. I like that. How many of those do I get? Oh, I, I have six more? Really? You're gonna give me six of these things and then more? That's insane. Why would you do that? I don't know. Shield, go up. Oh, see what I mean when I say it's buggy? Oh my gosh. I just lost this level. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I'm not very good at shooters. Please, uh... There we go. 
Yeah, the shield is a little buggy. Sometimes it does not ah, come out when it needs to. What the heck? My shield just didn't work. I think when there gets to be like too much going on on the screen at once, the game just decides that I don't get to use my shield, which is kind of the worst. What the heck? Stop this. Please. This is absolute insanity. Use the shield, you donk. Oh my goodness. What is this level? I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Awesome. Nice. Excellent. Baller. Sweet. Oh, I missed that one. Outstanding. Wonderful. Magnificent. It didn't give me my shield there. See, it's hard to it's hard to do it when the game decides that you don't get to play the game. Okay, we're doing this again, are we? I want to play the video game, but sometimes the video game says no, and I just have to sit there and take it. Uh, okay. This level really tests your shielding ability. Like, you're like, alright, training wheels off. If you don't know how to shield, good luck. But the problem is that sometimes the game decides that you don't get a shield. And that's a problem. Alright, hard read. This guy coming up right there. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Again with the shield. Where is my shield? I want my shield, please. Fuck's sake. I knew this game was buggy, but this is just... Wow. It won't let me use it at all. Wait, you know what? You know what? Something just occurred to me. It's probably my keyboard. It's probably my keyboard. My keyboard being terrible. Oh, man. Ooh, did you see that? That was amazing. I don't know if it's like that this game is hard or if I'm just, like, stupid on top of having a keyboard that hates me. I don't know. Did I just beat the level? Did I finally achieve sweet, sweet mercy? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Next? <laughs> sure. I'm thinking this is where I'm gonna end things up. But if for some reason you guys decide that this looks at all appealing to you, um, I suppose you can play it by clicking on the link in the description. By the way, um, I will be linking to each of the games in the description uh, of the videos, so, you know, if you see a game you like and you want to play it, just head on down to the, you know, old description and, and give those links a click, you know? Oh gosh, what the heck? Like the, um, the face huggers from Alien. Alright, I've got a sword now. There's a true, a true man of chivalry dodge. See, I'm always, I'm always too hesitant to just go, like, gung-ho with the, with the gun, um, because, mm. can, I, can I, like, move my thing? No, I'll just accept death. There we go. Alright, one more shot, one more shot. That one didn't count. That didn't count because everything sucked. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, no, please, let me move my cursor. No, now I'm poisoned. This fucking sucks. No! I hate this. Okay, we're done. <laughs> the next game is Stumped. Stumped was released in October of 2011. In this game, you play as a monster's severed foot that can only turn clockwise. Uh, I have not been very far in this game at all. I, <laughs> I just remember like playing like the first two levels and then leave like losing all patience for it. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Wait, what? Does it only activate when I walk in front of it? Okay. Actually, it's kind of neat. There's a little, neat little puzzle aspect to this. <laughs> yeah, fire at me, why don't you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, because otherwise I'll get zapped immediately. 
I gotta go like this. There we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Hmm, I think this is about as far as I got in this game, was this point here. Oh, yeah, that might be why. See, the thing is, for you guys, it's gonna be like five minutes of gameplay of this. But for me, it's like a half an hour. Well, I remember when this concept was used, like, actually well in, in, in Tournament, another Nitrum game. Sorry, this, this is gonna be a lot of me, like, crapping all over this game, because it's, like, I'm not a fan of this game, really. Don't kill me! Oh. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Uh, I'm doing this willingly. I sat down at my desk tonight and I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. Oh wait. Wow, I way overthought that. What the heck? <laughs> I think that's the problem with, like, the control scheme of this game, is that it forces you to overthink things a little too much. Okay. And then, uh, I gotta, I gotta use the walls more, because the walls are going, they, they are going to auto-turn. So it's like, you know, I need, I just need to not fight it. I need to let it happen. Oh, oh, you have to catch the key before the hands get there. I see. That's an interesting uh, concept, interesting idea. Well done, Nitrome. You have designed the video game. Okay. I have to, I have to pick up the pace a little bit. There we go. All right. That, that was, you know, these are well-designed levels. It's just that the controls are, are a bit. Um, the worst. <laughs> You're making me chase the keys again, and mmm, mmm. I can see that there has been a flaw in my judgment there. Oh wait, I can just let the keys come to me. Hey! Alright. <laughs> wow, really? It was that easy? I way overthought that. <laughs> this, like, it forces you to overthink. There we go. All right. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, really? You expect me to do this? Oh my gosh. There is no way. There's no way they actually want me to do this, right? I'm dead. Yeah. You could just you could just tell. Alright, here we go, here we go. No, wrong way. Damn it. Alright. There we go. See, this one's about timing. And uh, if you panic. You know, things are not gonna go well for you. Get the pumpkin, get the key, and get out of there. I think, uh, I think my patience with this has just about run out. But hey, I've gotten farther in this game than I have before, ever. So, I guess that's something. Damn it. Maybe, if I do it like this... Hey! Learned. Hey, there we go. Okay. Wow, 23 deaths. It sure felt like a lot more than that. <laughs> Alright, we will... Never mind, I'm done with this. The next game is Worm Food. Worm Food was released in July of 2010. In this game, you play as a giant worm monster and must eat the villagers. And now to keep myself from shoving my arm down a garbage disposal is a game that I actually like. Alright, so we're playing as uh, this giant worm. Um, we have to eat all of these people. Uh, well, not all of them. We have to just fill up that meter in the bottom right. And there is a time limit uh, in the bottom left. 
So if you don't feed enough guys, you starve to death. It's kind of weird, you know, but I, I, I guess it makes sense, you know, if, if you have like a giant like... Mon Tokyo monster movie type creature, it's gotta eat a lot of stuff to, you know, keep itself going, so, you know. I remember first playing this game, that level that I just beat, level 2, it took me forever to beat that. I just couldn't, I just couldn't eat enough guys in time. Oh gosh, I got some sick air there. It's just, it's just kind of fun to just, you know, play as like a giant creature that just goes in and demolishes a ton of stuff and like, you know. I don't know, there's something fun about it. It's a very interesting con concept for a game too, because there aren't too many games that are like that. At least, to my knowledge. Wow! What the heck? This is just crazy. Uh oh. That's right, run over here. Hey! <laughs> How you doing? I think I have to eat like every last person in this little village here. No, maybe not. Alright, so now we actually have to deal with actual danger to us in this level. There are spikes planted on the sides that will hurt us if we run into them. And we actually like, I don't know if it's like a glitch or what, but you can actually get stuck in them. And then you just repeatedly take damage until you die. Also, uh, touching the tops of them also hurts for some reason. I said I was going to play like spookier games today, and I mean, I have been. I'm like, well, this technically isn't one of Nitrome's like Halloween games. Like, you know, giant worm monster, who need I say more? That's pretty, that's pretty spooky scary, you know? Uh, hey, how you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Vsauce. Giant worm here. <laughs> oh. They don't want us to jump on this one, do they? That's fine. We can just do like surface stuff. Just howdy. Oh, you gonna run over there? That's fine. I'm just, uh, there we go. Ooh, that was smooth. I very expertly dodged that thing. Oh gosh, I don't like that. Oh my gosh! The brutality! <laughs> Alright, I'm almost there. Oh no, I only have uh, 8 seconds. I have to eat another human in less than 15 seconds! Alright, wow, I very narrowly completed that level. Alright, so if you guys uh, want to see something really gruesome, there you go. Giant bird getting eaten by a giant worm. There you go. Gotcha. Uh-oh, I think I died. Yep. Oh gosh! <laughs> Whoa! Well then. Alright, got that guy, and then there's another guy right there! Yes! Nice! That was a, that was a sick power move. Oh no. Oh, it's all good. All good. Get that guy, didn't get him. It's fine, I'll just come back around like so. Ooh! That was a nice move. Alright, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about this level. It's such a cool way to open a level, just having having the giant monster just fall from above. Um, so they are firing arrows at us, and it does, it does hurt, um, but it's going to take a lot of them shooting us in order to actually seriously take us down. You can fall off the sides and die if you're not careful. Oh, yes, this is what I meant when I said that sometimes he glitches out. Oh my goodness. It's like he was getting put through a cheese grater there. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, I got like their village elder or something. I think that's what those guys are, the ones that float. They're like, uh, they're like enlightened or something. <laughs> With the music, uh, I think that the worm dying does, it isn't as bad, but like without the music, it's really bone chilling. Like it's it's actually terrifying. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this level. 
Um, I have beaten this level before, but it was pretty tough um, when I last played it. So, we'll see. I certainly hope that we can get past this level. I have a minute left. Oh man, how, how am I supposed to get that guy? Alright, alright, I have an idea. That wasn't the idea. Neither was that. Damn it. Alright, watch this move. No, <laughs> that, that wasn't the move, hang on. Yes, I did it! Oh man. I am not gonna just wait to accidentally die that time. I'm just moving on. Get in my mouth, please. No, get in my mouth. No. Oh, wow, I'm almost dead. I need to be more careful. The guy, yes! Don't touch the thing! Bad. I did it. That wasn't uncomfortable to listen to at all. Oh, that's one way to go. Oh my gosh. All right, one more go. One more try. All right, if I eat this guy, will I win the level? Yes. Awesome. That's a good way to end it off, right? The next game is Numskull. Numskull released in October of 2008. In this game, you rotate tiles to guide the skull back to the rest of the skeleton. And now for another uh, Halloween-themed Nitrum game that I'm not particularly fond of. I, I haven't played this game very much, in all honesty. Um, so, who knows? Maybe I'll end up enjoying it. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you have to build, like, a, a functioning pipe system here. Um... Oh no wait, that was where I wanted it. Okay, so now I need to get this where I want it. And that's gonna be a little trickier. Um hmm. There we go, that's where I want that, and then I can do this. So we position those. There we go. Well, it would seem that unfortunately I have reached a point where the puzzles require thinking. Yeah, yeah, if I do this and then I yeah, there we go, and then do that. Hey, now we're thinking with skulls. Uh-oh. Okay. I wonder if I can just beat this with just these three blocks. I probably can. That works. There we go. See? I knew I could do it with just the three. It's, it's fun. Um, and it's, it's certainly got like a certain relaxing kind of thing to it because you know you can just like chill and you know just do some some fun like thinking puzzles and such you know um but in terms of like you know trying to entertain uh it doesn't provide one with much to talk about the last game for today is turn undead turn undead was released in october of 2014 in this game, time only flows when your vampire hunter moves or fires his crossbows. This game is, uh, really interesting. It's kind of like, uh, if you're familiar with, uh, Super Hot, that, uh, VR game. Super Hot. It's kind of like that, in that time only moves when your character moves. Um, but it's, it's more of, like, a turn-based thing, unlike... Uh, super hot, where it's like all like, real time. Um, Nitrum has uh, done quite a few games with this concept of, of like, um, like turn based movement, you know, like a platformer or puzzle style. Um, and this game, uh, they actually released on. Uh, Mobile was like a like sort of sequel to it. Um, I haven't played the mobile one. Uh, I don't know if it's paid. I don't know if you have to pay for it or not. But uh, you know, go check it out if uh, you like the CD. 
So uh, I don't know when this video is going to go up. I mean, it's going to go up in October sometime, of course. Regardless, I hope that uh, everyone watching has or has had uh, a good Halloween. You know, it's a good time, candy, and, and uh, you know, fun costumes and whatnot. Level 8 out of 24. Nice. I don't know how far I've been in this game, actually. I just know I have never been. There is a point we will get to eventually where I'll say, okay, I haven't been past this point. There we go. That's what I want. No, that was not what I wanted. Uh, okay. What? <sighs> Dang it. Stupid keyboard. I hate this thing. For some reason, whenever my keyboard acts up, if I shake it like it's a fucking etch a sketch, it decides that that is the time to work. That is the time to function. Oh! Gosh, where am I? <laughs> okay, I just blinked out of existence for a second there. Alright, that, that level took a bit of a, a bit of doing, but eventually we did do it. Wait, I think I need this. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, and that creates a, huh, a shield, of course. Alright. Pretty easy, but fun level. You know, had some nice puzzle elements, I like it. That's a great day for me. Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the level that I have not been able to beat, ever. And it's all because of that guy up there. He sucks. Will this work? I do this. Wait, seriously? Did I just beat this level? On like my first try? I haven't been able to beat this level for years. What the heck? What was that? O okay. I guess I'll play the next level. I've never seen this level before. I don't know what the deal is. Alright, so we gotta go back in time. Back to when I was not stupid. I mean, before I was... Before I did the stupid and then I can do the smart instead. It's definitely cool that I finally made it, like, you know, farther in this game. And I haven't before- oh, well. <laughs> then I did a stupid like that. Nice. I'll have to play this game some more uh, on my own time for sure. Cause uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna get through more of it. You know, now that I'm actually like past that one level that I was stuck on and somehow miraculously solved today. I don't know what that was about. That was weird. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Once again, uh, for the Nitro 5. Uh, again, you can find links to the games in the description. And uh, go down to the, the ye old comment section below. You can tell me, you know, what sort of Nitro games you'd like me to play in the next episode. And, um, you know, click the red button to make me smile. Uh, and also to make sure that, you know, you know when the next episode of this comes out and also other stuff that I do as well. So until next time, farewell.